Hello and welcome to my studio. Today we are going to do class two in our initial series, which is Boat on Water. You see my sample painting in behind. So if you're new to my, my classroom, I do encourage you to watch videos one, two, and three. Um, there's just a lot of information just to get you started. And I do encourage my students to do these classes in order, just because we keep building on skill sets. However, if you're brand new and this is what interests you today, welcome. The background behind the boat is achieved by what's called a fluid acrylic pour technique. So in video number three, I show you how to do that yourself. So if you want to do that, obviously you'll take a moment and, and go and watch that video and make your own background. You can absolutely just take a paintbrush and put some blue down on the canvas. We will do future paintings where it's not a fluid acrylic background. So um, stay tuned for that. But today we're going to assume that you've got your background already done. So uh, this, this video is just to get you started. So the first thing you want to do is get your palette and get the paints out on it. So I have a fairly large pile of white because white is, there's quite a bit of white in this painting. And then I have small piles of different colors. So there's a yellow, there's a, I do have an orange. If you don't have an orange, then you mix yellow with a little bit of red. Uh, but I have a couple of ready oranges and then I have a nice bright red. This is alizarin crimson. It's a nice deep hue of red. So any, any red that you like will do. Small piles of these paints, you don't need a lot. I do have a purple, so um, but otherwise you can make purple again. That is with blue and red, and I'll show you a little bit about that. When we get into the painting, I mix everything around anyway, so I'll be able to show you some color mixing. I have my blue, two blues, um, because as you learned in when we did Marblehead Lighthouse, we're going to kind of make the illusion of water uh, with some movement going horizontally across the canvas. So you need some blues. So I have a cerulean blue and a phthalo blue, but two blues, a darker tone and a lighter tone is all that you need. And then a very tiny bit of black. So that's what you need on your palette. Um, you need some water. I have my little uh, container of water here, a couple of paper towels. You're going to need your flat brushes again. These are what I like to use. So I have a larger flat brush and then a smaller flat brush, flat meaning it just goes across the top straight across. And then you've got a round brush. Um, those are the brushes I use and I find that they are the most um, popular ones in my classes. Of course, you're always welcome to use whatever brush works for you. So that's it for this video. We're going to jump right into step one, uh, the next video. So I look forward to seeing you in a moment. 